a day of new beginnings. Got her cleaning supplies. Michael Decker's turning the page on a new chapter outside of his hometown, Bristol. It's only 25 minutes away, so uh, not a far drive if parents get lonely or uh, I get lonely. Three generations of Deckers setting up his dorm room. I'm going to make it the best thing I can, so while I have the time. This same time before his sophomore year. It was rough. We were online because of COVID. An unprecedented high school experience and the words of a mentor fueling Michael's decision to study education. One of the people told me that I'm, I'm great with kids and I should use that, and I was like, you know, I, I, there's, it's such a waste not to get back and I want to get back to the teachers and I want to be that great teacher that everyone can come to. The Lowe family of Boston won't be as close to their son, Oliver. I think overall, you know, I'm, I'm ready for him to let go and I think he's been really ready. It's move-in day at the University of St. Joseph. We have more students living on campus this semester than we've ever had here. All of this is very much coordinated. There are 400 students moving in today. Some of them are new, others returning, but they're not all moving in at once. It's happening in waves. The university launching a new mentoring program to help an unprecedented class adjust to campus life. And the upper class students who will be helping the incoming students are called Zen Guides. So it's really a guiding as much as mentoring. Michael already has someone showing him the way. His older brother Christian will be a junior in this same dorm. It's like starting back normal. In West Hartford, Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.